How about we start things off, David? It's only right. We've got to kick it off. We've got to get this one out of the way. It's St. James's Park. I'm not looking forward to having this discussion. Newcastle United won, Arsenal nil. Uh, David, man, talk to me, brother. What What were your thoughts? What are you thinking um, um, overall? Let's, should, let's hear it. Should, should we leave the referee separate, yeah? Okay, okay. Can, I'm just going to focus on, first of all, yeah, our tets above. Who has got away with one this week, Flood? His stupidity at his finest, bro. We start when was when did you play West Ham? Was was it Wednesday? Wednesday, we're losing 3 0. Yeah, we're losing 3 0. And you decide to bring on Odegaard, Martinelli, and Saka, bro. Now, two twos now, Pete. You've left 7 a.m. in the morning. Man's mm. messaging us at 4 mm. 30, blood. Odegaard's mm. not in the squad, bro. I'm like, what the hell is going on here, bro? Man, and the man comes out to the press conference. I ah, was dealing with a hip injury. Why did you play him, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why we start off with that one? Why I told you, Pete, bruv, this guy, yeah, injury is going to cost us, bro, at the wrong time. And I already told you against this against Chelsea, bro. That midfield is meaty, black. Now, performance wise, apart from the goal, I think we were good. It's Newcastle, it was a physical game. Mm. Uh, physical game, but we didn't play our football, bro. No, no, one shot on target, bro. One, I actually one. saw it. I actually saw it. it was Martinelli. I, I was just like, Yo, is it one shot on target? In total, hey. one shot on target. Yeah, I think he had two shots, and one of them was on target. the front whole game. Bro, wow. shot on target for Arsenal, bro. It's embarrassing, bro. That's not good. Second point. But apart from that, I think we're all right. I'm just saying, when the wingers are not winging. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's a long, mm. long day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, that, that's that's it. I've got nothing else to say. Raya, I'm pleased. Honestly, Peter, I'm done. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> that's I've had enough. He's done. Yeah. He needs to get dropped. <sighs> He need it's done. All this wahala would not be thing not is, happening if he just put, caught that ball under no pressure. How oh, you uh, everything How aside, you like I said, everything aside, and we will get into it. That's yeah. a howler from him. That is a howler from him. You should yeah. have done better. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 you know, you know what, David? Like, obviously, man rocked up there. You know what I'm saying? Six hour journey. You know what I'm saying? Up to New Assel, where. The wind is different. The rain, when it rains, it's different. Once I, once I got to into Sheffield, I was like, where the hell am I? Um, and the thing is, blood, like, it, it's, I, I'll tell you about my day. Like, because when I got there, I was like, do you know what? Like, I'm so happy to be able to go, like, go to away games. Like, there was once upon a time where getting an away ticket to go anywhere was the hardest thing in the world, right? And I genuinely, when I was sitting, I was standing on, like, road, two on the upper tier like sort of like felt so freaking privileged to actually just be able to go to games and like watch my team play especially like an away day because away days there's nothing like them like they're, they're i find them so much better than home games for for different reasons and um standing there watching arsenal play you know hostile ground it was loud it got it got um, noise but yeah as i was saying like we're at the ground you know what i'm saying the, the, the games kicked off and to, to what david was saying it was a game overall it was a game of two great defending from both sides you know newcastle nullified arsenal so well and yes i'm still annoyed about how we were attacking wise we didn't offer a thing we offered absolutely nothing in the game okay and um you know martinelli's that one chance that you're referring to david i just, I just remember when it was like finally he was going at a defender um you know, twisting him inside and out, and then he took a shot. The shot was really, really poor. But I thought there'll be more to come, and we didn't really get any of that. Um, you know, he had Dan Byrne, you know, at one point, and he had, you know, Trippier the, the next, and it was just, oh, even Livermento, who'd done a fantastic job. But yeah, uh, the, the, the the defending on both teams was absolutely brilliant. And I think no, neither team offered anything either. You know, and I must admit, guys, I it, t yes, uh, Saturday made me think this, this, uh, this Declan Rice player, I was like, what have we bought here? Like, as in, 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 in a good way, like, what is this? I did not know he was actually this good. I, I, I never thought 
he would be because if anybody was going to score or do something in the game, it was going to be through him. And he was just unreal from from a bird's eye view looking down. David, I couldn't believe what I was seeing from and, from Declan Rice. And on this point, here's, here's my issue. This is the whole Wenger era all over again. Keeper is sass. <laughs> Defense is solid. We've saw that midfield, defensive holding midfield, whatever Bryce is. But now look, no striker. Once again, no striker. And now uh, no no box to box, whatever that creative, if old guard's not in the same. Yeah, yeah. As I keep saying, once again, here again, another season, I'm saying, finish the puzzle. The jig, whatever is called. Yeah, jigsaw, right? yeah. Complete. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a shame because there was no creativity whatsoever, and that's the that's the hardest bit about traveling six hours up north to to see no attack. You know what I mean? And just watch, you know, just watch. And, it, and you know, obviously, I'm looking at Mikel like because at the end of the day, like we can't rely on on the competence of people for us to get results. Like we went unbeaten once upon a time, right? We never had to probably rely on the referee, although Portsmouth at home comes to mind when Perez dived. However, um, you know, just the, just the thing of like, if you win, if you put the ball in the net, if you take your chances, you ain't got to worry about no referee being a bonehead. You know yeah. the ones. So yeah, it was I, just, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Another, and another point, and this is like in relation to the City game, my man, these lot, Saka and Martinez need to learn how to dribble. I don't know, yeah. bro. Yeah. Honestly, Attack this business, them. yeah, yeah, this business of our uh, cut this and then you only got one move. Nah, but that's not it, cuz. Yeah, that is not it. I mean, Trippier's at left back and he's still having as marshaled Saka out the game completely. He's not oh, even playing in his own position. Approximately one month ago, or a little bit more, I said on this podcast. All referees need to be fired from the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the amount of ineptitude and stupidity I have seen, not only in this week, but in the last few weeks, yeah. where it has to be self-sabotage. Because they're actually manipulating games. And if it's just to get rid of VAR, to prove a point, and they'll still be even worse, just so they can have their jobs, I'm not trying mm. to hear it. Mm. One referee was demoted to the championship, and he still had a howler in that Did game. You see anyway. the decision <laughs> 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 yeah, howler. So that's why I don't want to get rid of VAR. We need to fire every single Premier League ref. Where do we go them. From there, though? Who can we, <laughs> can we get some from Serie A? Can we just get them over? Just get anyone. You know what I'm saying? I need, Listen, I need some Italian referee <laughs> in this country, man. Honestly, um, um, what else was there? I mean. You know the 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 goal. I mean the goal, David. The goal. The goal. We can see. We, we have. Is... We have. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have three. First, no, first one of them. No, no. First one of them. Ball. I can kind of allow the other in, two. In the, in the in the stadium, bro. Yeah. <laughs> in the stadium, the announcer. So the announcer announces VAR. I don't do that at Emirates, but at, at that that thingy, they done that, right? Yeah, they do. They do it. Really, they do it every stadium. Yeah, we're gonna do it at the Emirates, right? So the screen just shows it. Like, say VR, man. Let the people know. Imagine imagine being the ball guy that had to do had to do Saturday, where VAR checking for a ball possible out of play. I didn't even know they check that. Okay, so when it come up on the screen and the guy said it, PR, and it was like, like, okay, play Brighton, Mm. the same ball, nearly did not cross out. As much as the Newcastle considered yeah. out of play. However, this however, ball where, this ball is clearly I, I mean you, you could not you can see the gap the of thing the, is, line. the thing and is I'm just like how here's here's the problem, I think, Robin, though. Yeah, I think by the law, if the sphere of the ball is anywhere on the line, then it's considered in, right? But you know, VAR says that we can't, we couldn't even check to confirm if this, if if this is a legit thing, which is a farce in and of itself. Farce. Okay? It's an absolute farce. This idea that I couldn't tell. If my eye can see it, why can't you? The thing is, though, they have to make. I think they got to change the rule to a degree where it's like a case of the ball has to be like the base of the ball, wherever the ball is on the floor, that needs to be uh, on the line or not, because otherwise you can't ever check it. Really and truly, you can't confirm oh, necessarily. Oh, oh Peter, I've got, I, I got an idea what they can do. See the Go NFL, on. they put a yeah. camera in the flipping thing. Put a camera there, blood. 
camera there. Here, I mean, at the same time, we have the goal line technology camera that covers do. the whole we line. Do. You can yeah, use that do. camera. Why was that not used? We do. Ah, Robin, I, as I said, like, Pete, there's ways around this. It's there just, are ways. Uh, and I, I, can still, I, speak, I can still clearly see that the ball has crossed the line. I, if I speak, <laughs> our show will get cancelled, so I'm going to keep quiet, bro. No, nah, it's, it's Pete. Like even when even when like from the up from the gods, I saw the ball went out of play. Like I was like, Apple's gone out of play, surely. Right. <laughs> and uh, by the way, Jorginho was protesting. I was like, okay, fine, it's gone out of play. All right. They've whipped in the ball. Yeah, they've then whipped in the ball. And I've seen Joe Linton with two hands. Yeah, with two freaking hands on the back of Gabriel. Like he was trying to whine with him. What is going on there? What is going on, man? This boy, listen, get rid of VAR. I'm done now. I'm done. For the first time, I said, get rid of it. Do you know why, bro? Because I was at West Ham where Ramsdale got fouled, right? It was a shambolic piece of goalkeeping anyway. He got fouled. But guess what? Because there's no VAR and the decision was made, I got over it fast. Yeah? I'm more happy to know that my referees are incompetent, right? That they're incompetent, they're not good enough at their job, than to have video screens check stuff and we're still in this situation. Guys, scrap it. It's done. As long no, as referees are, are going to be the ones going to be doing But, Robin, so... Robin, no, 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 no. scandalous that's what, decisions that's have happened I'm this saying, year. I'm, I'm saying... The, You're saying scrap the, the PGMO. It's never but, the system. Bro, because the is... system, if we go to Europe, if we go to every other league, we don't see this nonsense. <laughs> Listen, no. I, I, I'm with you more so in terms of... <laughs> uh, as I said, guys, but, PGMO needs to hire me, bro. Mental. We need to get some no, diversity. Honestly, we, we need to get some honestly. diversity in there and we'll fix it. And I'm not saying this, and I'm saying me, Brad. Because you know, bro, me, I'm <laughs> going to sort that crap out. Hey, listen, there needs to be a protest. This, I will sort this crap out, Brad. What are you doing, Brad? Yeah, keep me away from the Arsenal games. Yeah. Let, me, let me deal with Bournemouth and let me deal with the Wolves game. Let yeah. me deal with Wolves last week. Let me deal with... Uh, uh, we go to Europe. We see every other league does not have VAR issues like we do. To the point, remember, we had a World Cup where English refs were not sent. Why? Because they're, they're trash, pathetic. Because they're pathetic. Okay. Yeah, they are pathetic. And until they are, they are all gone... And replaced with competency, you're gonna see the system still fail. 